Hey there, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to resize your images for web. This tutorial is specifically for those who don't have Photoshop or Lightroom and they just want to find an easy way to get their file size down so that their site loads quickly and their images aren't too large. What you'll want to do is you'll go to your finder and you'll find the image that you want to edit. If you're in this, um, this view here, you can see the file size really quickly. It's My image here is 7.8 megabytes. My suggestion is to keep it under 2 megabytes and if it's a really simple, not a lot of detail picture, um, I would try to keep it under 1 megabyte. So what you'll want to do first is you're going to make a copy of it. You can either right click and click duplicate or what I usually do is I grab it and I hold the option key or the alt key and I'll just drag it and it'll create a duplicate for me. Now a quick SEO tip, you'll want to, re to rename the, image, the images to something that makes sense for the image or the post that you're using them for. It just helps with SEO and keeps your images organized. So I'm just going to call this one wedding because this is a picture from my wedding. So I'm going to call it wedding and I'm also going to add web just to keep it a little bit more organized. So this is the picture I'm going to make smaller so that it's under two megabytes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open with preview and that will open up. And the first, there's three different steps. The first step you want to do is you'll go to this toolbar and it's called markup toolbar and it's a little toolbox icon. When you click on that, a bunch of other icons will show and you're going to choose the one that has the little arrows, it's called adjust size. So when you click on that one, you'll see the width, the height, and the resolution. So this picture, I already changed out the resolution from 300 to 72. 300 is for print and 72 is for web. It won't change the quality of the image drastically. So that's a really good spot for you to just downsize the resolution um, so that the image has a lot less file size. So if it's over maybe like 100 or 120, I would bring it down to 72. So you click OK on that. And we're going to file and save. Because I already did, I already did that, it, it's not going to change the file size. And it actually made it larger. So that's mostly just because doing a file save is not the best with preview. What you want to do instead is file export. So you're going to export this image. You want to make sure it goes to the folder that you want it to. So I'm going to have it go to um, just to downloads. And I'm going to rename it just to keep it, have it a separate one. And I'm just going to add small at the end of it. The important thing here is to make sure that it's at a JPEG. PNG usually is larger, so make sure it's a JPEG. And then you can kind of drag this around. You, you can see when I drag it around, it's going to change the file size. I usually like to keep it around this area. I don't want to go past 50%. Um, and so maybe like right around here will be good for me. So I'm going to save that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my downloads. I'm going to see, and it's at 2.1 megabytes, which is good. Got down a whole bunch. So now I'm going to right click and open this one in preview. And the last thing that you can do is you'll go back to that toolbar, click the adjust size, and instead of a um, instead of the width being 4,000 whatever pixels wide, make sure it's pixels. I would bring it. I would first try it like maybe 3,000 width, and then I would just do Command S for save or File Save, and then I'm going to go back to my Finder. And you can see that helped drastically. It brought it down all the way to 1.1. And you can see from this image, and I'm going to open up the original image here. I have them side by side. I'm going to bring them both to the same size. You can see that they look, they barely look any different. There's really no difference. But the file size is from 7.8 to 1.1 megabytes, which is awesome. So that is a really simple way using just preview to resize your images and get them a little bit smaller or a lot smaller so that your page loads quickly so that readers don't have to wait for all the images to load and it just keeps everyone happy. Thanks.